In this video, we're going to work out one um, example uh, dealing with parametric equations. So our problem here is going to be to write an equation in slope-intercept form whose parametric equations are given by x equals negative 5 plus 4t and y equals 2 minus 3t. Alright, so our first task is going to be to solve each one of these equations for t. So let's put right here solve for t. Okay, because that's the first thing I'm going to do. Alright, so I'm going to take this first equation right here, and I'm going to add 5 to both sides. So I'm going to have an x plus 5 is equal to 4t. And if I divide both sides by that 4, I'll have an x plus 5 all over 4 is equal to t. Alright, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do the exact same thing to this equation. I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation, so I'll have a y minus 2 is equal to, don't forget to drop, um, don't drop the negative, so a negative 3t. Divide both sides by that negative 3, so I'll have a y minus 2 is equal to a negative 3 equal to t. Alright, now, after you get to that point, you're going to use substitution to write an equation for the line without the variable t. Okay, so I've got some expression equal to t, I've got another expression equal to t, so if both of these two things are equal to t, I can write an equation where I set these two equal to each other, alright, and I will not be involving the variable t at all. Alright, so... Let's draw a line there so that we know where we're going here. So I will have an x plus 5 over 4 is equal to a y minus 2 over a negative 3. Okay, so now it's a matter of manipulating this equation and getting it into that slope intercept form. So I'm going to cross multiply down here. So if I cross multiply this way, I will have 4 times the quantity y minus 2 is equal to going the other way, negative 3 times x plus 5. Alright, doing a little distributing, I will have a 4y minus 8 is equal to a negative 3x minus a 15. I can add 8 to both sides of the equation. I will have 4y is equal to negative 3x and then minus a 7. And then I can divide through by that 4. So I will have y is equal to negative 3 fourths x minus 7 Force. And I now have an equation in slope-intercept form whose original parametric equations were given. So, uh, really just one straightforward uh, example here of dealing with those parametric equations. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends and also subscribe to the channel. Thanks!